Hello, my name is Jack Elder, Senior Director for Advanced Planning at CBS Brokerage. Today, I'm going to talk to you about a technique you can use with your C-Corp owning clients to help them unlock C-Corp earnings. As we all know, C-Corporations are subject to two layers of taxation. Corporate income tax, currently 21% rate, under the American Families Plan, maybe as much as 26 or 28 percent. But they're also subject to a second layer of taxation when earnings are distributed from the company, typically in the form of qualified dividends. The maximum dividend tax rate is 23.8 percent. That's 20 percent for the maximum capital dividend rate. And then another 3.8 percent uh, net investment income tax. Under proposed legislation, that would jump to 28.8% maximum bracket 25% plus 3.8% net investment income tax. What does this mean for your clients? It means that if their company distributes $100,000 to them, the first almost 24,000 under current law goes to the IRS. Under proposed law, the first almost 30,000 goes to the IRS. What I want to talk to you about today is a technique that you can use to minimize this second layer of taxation. It is an executive benefit arrangement set forth by the IRS, in fact, in 2003, using today's historically low interest rates. This plan has the potential to reduce dividend taxes. It's otherwise known as loan regime split dollar, which is what that means is that it's two parties sharing in the costs and benefits of a permanent life insurance policy. And the form of that sharing takes place with split dollar loans. So how does this work and how, how could this be an answer for your clients seeking to minimize that second layer of tax? Well, the corporate owner purchase, purchases a life insurance policy that accrues cash value. The business, writes a check to the life insurance company to cover the cost of the premium. Those premium advances are treated as split dollar loans. In exchange for the loan, the corporation stands in priority to the owner with respect to the policy's death benefit and cash values while their agreement is in place. Additionally, the parties, the owner and the corporation need to account for interest on each of these split dollar loans. At the end of the arrangement, when they're ready to roll out of it and terminate the split dollar, the owner could access the cash values of the life insurance policy to repay the premium advances. The problem with this approach is that it puts funds directly back into corporate earnings where at some point they'll be subject to dividend taxation. So alternatively, the corporation could forgive the loan, which is a deduction to the corporation, and the executive could recognize cancellation of indebtedness income. The, the benefit in this case is that the executive also happens to own a cash value life insurance policy that he could access to pay off the income tax liability. This is a great plan for clients who are interested in avoiding that second layer of taxation. And taxes are on your client's mind now. Additionally, the timing is excellent because today we have historically low interest rates. The applicable federal rates are published by the IRS on a monthly basis. The short, mid, and long-term rates are published monthly. The blended rate is published every July by the IRS, and it's an average of the previous 12 months short-term rates. These are the interest rates that are required as, a, as the minimum interest rates required to prevent the IRS from recharacterizing a transaction between related parties. And these are the interest rates you would use for loan regime split dollar. So using today's current tax regime and these interest rates, in particular the blended rate, let's take a look at the math and see how this executive benefit arrangement can save your clients on taxes. All right, so 
We're using in this case an indexed universal life, but could, this could just as easily be a whole life. The key is an accumulation policy that has increasing growing cash value. This blue line is the loan regime split dollar arrangement from the C Corp perspective. In this case, the owner is a 47 year old male in Arizona and his, his business, he's a high, in, he's a high income taxpayer and he's in the 23.8% bracket. So he's very interested in mitigating those taxes. So let's take a look at the loan first. In this case, the corporation is advancing $100,000 a year in premiums. We're not paying principal interest only because we don't want to put funds back into the corporation to be later taxed at dividend rates. So we let that loan accumulate. This is a 10 pay design, 100,000 a year. So it accumulates to $1 million. As I mentioned earlier, during the term of the agreement, the C corporation has priority. This means the C corps interest in the policy stands in first place uh, with respect to both the cash value and the death benefit. So if God forbid the executive passed away while this agreement was in force, uh, the corporation would be repaid first from the death benefit. And then the balance of the proceeds would go to the owner's beneficiaries. The owner's equity in the policy in the cash value is also secondary to the corporations while this transaction is in place. I mentioned that this is an interest only design because we don't want to put funds back into the company that would be taxed at the dividend rates. However, I strongly favor actually paying the interest. The executive should each year write a check to his or her company to cover that interest obligation. In this example, I use the blended rate, currently 0.13%. I also increase that rate by 10 basis points every year because it's a floating rate as an average of the previous 12 months short term rate. So it could increase. So I increased it. That said, the interest obligation, even if the if it, the outstanding debt was a million dollars is still very small because the blended rate is so low. Let's talk about the savings on taxes. And this is a lot of the reasons why business owners are interested in this type of design. Each dollar that you're using for split dollar loans are not subject to dividend taxes because they're supporting the executive benefit arrangement. So in this case, the uh, executives would their dividend rate would be 23.8%. So the first 23.8% uh, that would normally go to dividends, it's essentially going into the life insurance policy. Over the next 10 years, the savings are approximately $250,000 on dividend taxes. That really gets your client's attention. And what's better is the executives out of pocket is limited to their annual interest payments. So in this case, like I said earlier, we're using the blended rate and it's extremely low. At rollout, we're going to forgive rather than repay that debt. That's a corporate that's a deduction as to the corporation. It's cancellation of indebtedness income as to the executive. So in this case, it's a million dollar debt relief assuming he's in the 50% bracket, that's a $500,000 income tax liability. Where is he going to get those funds? Well, he happens to own a life insurance policy with a nice pool of funds that he can access. If you look at the blue box, you'll see that the cash value is being accessed for the executive to pay his income taxes. This avoids additional funds coming out of pocket. That's not all. The whole point of this transaction was to increase your ex the executives, the, the business owners out of or, uh, take home pay. And we've done that in this case at current illustrated rates. The uh, business owner can expect to add one hundred and seventeen thousand dollars income tax free to supplement his retirement for 20 years. 
This policy has an overloan protection rider, which means that it can't be overloaned and lapse. This protects the advances and loans he's taken from the policy. It protects their income tax free nature. And by the way, it also ensures that his family has a tidy little death benefit when he passes away. So what have we accomplished? Well, following the loan regime split dollar rules, which were provided by the IRS, and using the IRS published interest rates, we've reduced the client's dividend taxes. Under current law, that would be savings of almost $250,000 over 10 years. Under proposed law, that'd be savings of 290,000 almost. We've covered the business owner's income taxes by accessing the policy, so he doesn't have to come out of pocket to roll out of the split dollar plan. And we've provided the potential for $2.3 million in tax-free supplemental income. And of course, being life insurance, we've provided a tax-free death benefit to his heirs. Now, split dollar can be complex. There's a lot of T's to cross and I's to dot. I'm not gonna go through all the various intricacies of split dollar today on this recording, but I will assure you that we have expertise in this area. So if you have a client who owns a C corporation and is interested in reducing that second layer of taxation, we can assist you with the conversation around split dollar, with sample agreements and forms. We can even help you administer the plan once it's in force. We're a one-stop shop for all your advanced planning techniques. If you have a client who's interested in reducing taxes and needs the coverage, please give us a call.